Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com and I got a short, quick little trick for you to use in Photoshop to create new effects for your images. And this one here is gonna be talking about overlays. You may have already seen this out there. People are doing it, they're running actions. It's very similar to what I'm gonna show you here today, but uh, I'm gonna also give you this overlay. So I'll tell you how to get that at the end of this uh, video. But uh, basically, all you do is you wanna create an overlay and then you wanna just adjust the style, all right? So let me just go ahead and delete this and we will uh, we'll start from scratch. All right, so there's the original image, okay? And still looks good, good image, but when we're using digital backgrounds and props especially, you wanna usually use something that's going to blend the images. Now, not necessarily always an overlay, but overlays do help if you pick out the right ones. So the one I'm gonna be using here is one I created, and this is the tan overlay, I'm calling it, and it's got a little bit of a hot spot in there, which also acts as the light, and then around it will give you some texture and some tonality. All right, so all I'm gonna do let me drag this out of here so it, it uh, gets out of the nesting there. And all I'm gonna do is drag this into this open document, okay? And if you're wondering, let me turn this off. This is called Sunset Stables. This is one of our digital creations and uh, a lot of people are using it right now and they're enjoying it. So anyway, so all we're gonna do now, once we have it in here, is obviously we have to flip this, all right? Because this is a vertical and this is a horizontal, all right? So now what we wanna do is just go to edit, transform, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just rotate it 90 degrees. Doesn't matter, counterclockwise, clockwise, it doesn't matter. Uh, move it into position, okay? And then all you wanna do is go to your blending modes or your layer styles and go to soft light. And instantly you see the effect that we created. Now some people may wanna leave this so it kinda has that yellowy glow on the subject, or what you may wanna do is make sure that you're selected on that or you've selected that layer. Go to your uh, eraser tool and I'm gonna make sure I have a soft brush. I do, it's a zero hardness. And all I'm gonna do here, and I have it at 50% on the opacity, I'm just gonna, just gonna go over top of this just a little bit to take some of that yellow out. And then watch, if I turn that off, look what happens. Okay, now the other thing is I'm noticing that there's a lot more light over here than over here. So maybe with them what I wanna do is take this and flip it. So I'm gonna go edit transform, flip, horizontally. And then now you can see the light's coming in this direction, okay? So you can turn it off and you can see. And then, I mean, just look what it's done, how it blended all of this with the same tone going on the image and also on the edges of the cutout because this was a cutout at one point. So you can see right there, just from that. Now, the other thing is, let me just mention this, that you can go to the opacity and then you can lower the strength by just dropping the opacity down. So maybe you don't want it as strong. Maybe we only want it at 80%. And you can see, we've still, look what it's done here. It's, it's just lit this up, but yet it gave it some nice tone as well. Oops, I clicked on that. I didn't mean to do that. All right, so there you go. That's it. That's as easy as it is. So just for kicks, let me go over to this one now. This one here is what we call our barnyard buddies. And uh, we're going we're gonna to actually create the same kind of effect on here and see what it does. Now, again, this doesn't always work for every image, right? You got to kind of play around with it and see what it does to certain images. So let me go and grab the... Uh, the overlay again, which is right here. I'm gonna drag it into this one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go edit, transform, and I'm gonna rotate it, okay, 90 degrees. I'm gonna move it into position, just like that, okay? And I'm gonna to go to my layer styles, normal, and I'm gonna to go to soft light. And then you can see right there, if I turn that off, it's just giving it an overall, kind of like a tan or a beige uh, look. Right? I mean, look what it's done here. It's also brought out some of this uh, green, right? And if you look down in here, you can kind of see the, the browns, how it brought that out. But then it might have added too much to the faces. So then I just go into my eraser tool, make sure that it's on the soft uh, edge, make sure that my opacity is at 50, and I'm just going to lightly go over the faces a little bit, just like that, see? And then I still get that effect, but I didn't really hurt their skin, maybe. Okay, maybe I don't want it to go 100% on their faces. Then you just erase that. That's the control that you have with that. But look what it's done. We've taken that and, and created a whole nother mood just by taking that overlay. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a, a link down below here that you can download that, all right? All you have to do is click on the link and, uh, and you can download it and start using it in your 
uh, in your images, in your photography, and uh, hopefully you get some use out of it. All right, this is a little gift from me to you. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this little lesson. I told you it was going to be short. And if you want any more tips like this, videos, uh, resources, all that stuff, you can head over to newportraitbiz.com and you can find it all over there. We have a ton of stuff and uh, we're creating new stuff all the time. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you may want to subscribe to our YouTube channel because you'll get notified uh, by YouTube that we posted a new video as well. So a couple places you can uh, stay in touch with us. So once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I definitely enjoyed making it for you and I'll talk to you soon.